welcome to my channel my name is Octavia and this is the edit by OC where I talk about fashion overall health and wellness and lifestyle so today girl we have a haul and when I tell you this haul eats girl it's it eats it really eats I'm not even gonna hold you so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right in This is a collective haul. I picked up some pieces from Farfetch, Mark Fisher, ASOS, and honestly, I don't know what it was, but the pieces were hitting. So let's go ahead and start with the pieces from Farfetch. So Farfetch was actually having a 22% off discount last week or so. Um, so I went ahead and took advantage. I started kind of scouring the website to see what I can find. So we'll start with this dress that I'm wearing. This dress is by Remain. It's in a size 34, which I think is a small. And when I tell you this material is so warm, it is a beautiful, like it feels so good to touch. It is a little bit itchy in places just because of, um, I think some of the rib material here. But when I tell you the quality, I actually wore this on a date last night with my husband and girl I came out with this dress on and he was like Ooh. what I love about this dress is the versatility it has buttons that go all the way down so if you want to be a little bit more modest you can button it up further if you want to be a little bit more risque take a button out girl take a button out I got so many compliments on this dress when we went out to dinner people were like oh that's cute that's cute dress I love the green color it's like the perfect green for fall and winter and when i tell you this dress is warm it was about 40 degrees 45 degrees last night and honestly like i did not have on a jacket and i felt pretty comfortable so of course i could have covered up my neck now i could have covered up my neck but overall i felt really comfortable with the dress on as i'm filming this i'm getting warm because this material is very thick, very good quality. Um, the only thing that I really want to make sure that I am on top of is dry cleaning this dress instead of washing it because I have noticed a little snag here, a little snag there, um, but nothing too crazy at all. This dress is very good quality. I feel like you can wear it to a lot of different places. In the cutaway, you'll see that I tried it on with like these green heels that's how i wore it last night i was trying to figure out how to best style it but i think there's so much versatility and so many ways that you can actually style this dress so this dress gets a big yes from me very very cute and i'm glad i snagged it in the 22 percent off from farfetch the next item that i picked up from the farfetch sale um, are these boots from kurt geiger and i have a confession okay I have had these boots before. <laughs> so I had these boots, I bought them probably in 2019. Um, they were a different style, they actually had a gold, a gold heel here, but very similar style. So they've kind of upgraded and updated this boot because it has some grip here at the bottom, which is great. Um, and I love this skinny heel. So what happened with my other pair of boots, I still have them, but the heel tap fell off so the gold hill is really really cute um, and I bought them again because the boots are so comfortable but walking around with no heel tap on is just not it so I was like you know what I love 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 these boots they're so comfortable they work with jeans they work with dresses I feel like these boots can be styled in so many different ways so I was like you know what they're in the Farfetch 22% off. And girl, I gotta have them. I gotta re-up on these boots because I wore them down. That's why the heel tap came off. <laughs> I really love these boots. They, Like I said, they are comfortable. They are a nice, like, very thick rib material. But like, in no way does this boot hurt my feet. Like, the heel is relatively low, but it's still really sexy. Oh, yes, I had to re-up on this. And I love that they added heel taps to the box here, so I'm very happy for that. I will be holding on to them. The other boots, they did have the heel taps, but I could not find them. I even reached out to the company, so I emailed Kurt Geiger 
and I asked them if they could just give me the gold, the heel taps for the gold ones. <laughs> That's how much I love these boots. Like I really love a good, sleek, beautiful black boot for the winter. So this is my black boot. If Kirk Geiger continues to come out with this boot, I will probably buy it again. Like this is where I am in life, okay? So I love this boot. So glad I picked it up in the sale. The last item I picked up from Farfetch is this clutch. It's also a Kurt Geiger clutch. Um, and the way that this came packaged was very interesting. So it was in a box, in a Farfetch box that got shipped to me. Then it was in uh, like one of those like packaged bags that had a Kurt Geiger label on it. And then it's in this box. So I figured we, we would go ahead and open it together. Ooh, so this is nice and sturdy. It's kind of like a plasticky material, but it does have more give. So I've had some of those plastic bags in the past. And with those, they're very um, fragile in a weird way because if you drop it or um, if it gets crushed, it will absolutely break. But this one has a lot of like squish to it, even though it's like a very hard material. And then you can see that the Kirk Geiger kind of um, symbol, the bird symbol thing is here on the front of the bag. Very cute. Um, KGL on the back. There's a silver strap that can be attached to this bag. But I really wanted to wear this as a clutch. Probably, I probably would go ahead and attach the strap to it. But I was like, I just need an updated kind of black clutch that I can just tuck under my arm, um, wear out, you know, nothing crazy. Let me see if my phone actually fits in here. Let's try that. You know what, I am pretty simple. I don't like to carry a lot of stuff. I just have my little card holder, um, my AirPods, lip gloss, and a lip liner. So let's see if this stuff along with my phone will fit into this clutch. A little tight let's see nope so let's see what can we actually fit okay so I can fit my phone my lip gloss and my lip liner and my card holder in this bag and it'll close pretty comfortably so that's really all I need airpods is like an extra thing like why would you go out with airpods on like what are you doing but um yeah so this is a perfect evening bag it has some weight to it like even with the stuff in it it feels very sturdy and very nice so happy with this purchase um, kind of a little compact black bag that I can tuck under my arm and we're ready to hit it before we jump into the items from ASOS I want to move to some of the one-off items that I picked up as well next item that we have is from Rat and Boa it is this sheer zebra print top and I really really like this like as soon as I put this on girl I started feeling myself like this was so cute I don't know I feel like I'm in a bit of a zebra kind of mood or like an animal print mood like you'll see another item that's coming up in the haul that's also animal print but I just love the way that this top looks like this is definitely a top that I would wear with a swimsuit underneath but I feel like you could also wear this out so I'm gonna take full advantage of it um, I do want to figure out what to wear underneath it so that it's still kind of sexy but it's also you know classy so I tried it on with just like a nude bra for my skin tone underneath it which was okay but I would not wear that out so I would have to figure out what exactly I can put under this top um, without taking away from the essence of the top. Like it's supposed to be a little bit va va voom. So I don't know if that would be like, you know, covers, nipple covers or something else, but I will figure it out so that I can um, wear this top in its true glory because I feel like this is a very beautiful piece. It even has like some little details here that go around the side and the back where it's just like a little bit of ruffles and some pleating on here. Like I just love that it's kind of a loose fitting top but it also has just like 
it just has some really nice elements to it so I love this top I love the pattern love just the black and white color but it's not a stark white this is more of like a a cream type of color an off-white type of color more so so this is definitely something that I can get behind I feel like I can wear this in so many different ways so love this piece the next item that I picked up was another pair of boots. So these are a pair of boots from Mark Fisher. And as soon as I hold them up, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm blinded. Um, but I wanted, I don't know, I, I kind of have this vision in my head of just like a really nice pair of gold boots with a pair of pants that are like a boot cut jean. Um, so I kind of want the toe to peep out. I don't want the whole boot to show. So in the cutaway, you'll see that I tried these boots on with a pair of skinny jeans. And for me, I um, probably wouldn't wear them that way just because I, I don't like the way that the jeans work with the boot. But for the purposes of trying the boots on in this video, I wanted to kind of just have on something that you guys could really see the boot. But I would not want to style them that way. So I really liked... Um, this boot, I love the shape of the heel, but I think this would look, these boots would look so cute with a pair of boot cut jeans. Um, a dark wash, just like very, just, you know, nicely skimming the floor, good for the booty, like a boot cut jean. So yes, I'm still on the hunt for that, but I can't wait to have a little bit of pop of gold on the toe when they pop out of the jeans like I really feel like this could be a look so I kind of had a vision for these boots I think these boots were also on sale at Mark Fisher so you know perfect time I want to get this information out to you guys and get these get this inspo out to you guys in time for Black Friday okay so that you can have your Black Friday cart your Black Friday list figured out before the sales come okay I got you so very cute boot I cannot wait to style these now let's go ahead and jump to the pieces from ASOS I am so excited for this girl when I tell you this dress eats okay as soon as I put this dress on the body okay the energy like I felt different my swag different better ingredients better pizza better <laughs> better money my clothes better my shoes better i work harder okay Woo, girl this dress is literally stunning i mean come on look at the color it's so soft and i love me a good turtleneck the way that it's cut on the sides oh like so cute and i love the white pearl buttons down the side and then the sides are like subtly cut out so here's the thing about that in the cutaway you'll see that I had on just like a pair of black spakes type of shorts so I had those on um, as I was trying things on but obviously you cannot wear that with this kind of dress so I took it off so that you guys can see the dress in its full glory in the cutaway uh, the part where it shows your skin is a little bit high. So I have a couple of solutions that I'm thinking about wearing with this dress. So one, a pair of flesh toned tights, I think would be good underneath this dress, depending on what shoe I choose to wear with it. So that is TBD. Or another option would be like one of those body suits. And hear me out. There's those body suits that are cut up very high on the hip. So I feel like if I find the right bodysuit, I could wear that under this dress. So it's all contingent upon finding the right bodysuit, but I feel like that could work so that I am able to wear something under the dress, okay? So TBD on that, but this dress is so soft. The color is so beautiful. Like, it is just the perfect winter dress very warm very cozy but of course if you wear this dress you got to be getting to where you're going okay we're not outside parlaying in this dress like it's thick but it ain't that thick we're not just gonna be outside wearing this so get to where you're going this is great for a nice dinner a night out maybe a christmas party where you gotta get a little bit more fancy but definitely a beautiful piece for the winter i just want to say you know 
what is a haul without a fail? In this case, we have two fails. It was like a two for one fail, okay? <laughs> so I was sharing with you guys that I wanted to wear um, the gold boots with a boot cut jean, right? I wanted to wear the gold boots with a boot cut jean. So here we have a boot cut jean. <laughs> first, it started with the top. So first I tried on the top and um, I was completely smushed. And I'm not even that large in the chest, but I was completely smushed. It looked like my back was doing a lot. Like it was just way, way, way too tight. And this is a size four. I'm typically a size four. Um, it's far too tight. I'll try to put all of the sizes up on the screen so that you guys know what size I am as well. But I'm going to go ahead and return these two pieces. Um, I'm really bummed out about it, but the top was far too tight. And the way that I envisioned wearing this was actually with a button down shirt, like a white button down shirt, kind of open. Um, I wanted to wear that underneath this and kind of wear this as a, the top as a vest. So with the circumstances, I would not be able to do that because this tight was this top was way too tight. Um, I was able to get it on, get it zipped and all of that stuff, but I look like a linebacker. So no, we're not doing that. Um, and now we go to the second part of this fail, the jeans. So the jeans are a size four as well. They were so incredibly tight. There's no stretch to these jeans. Let's just say that. The quality is great. They're very heavy, very durable jeans. Um, but there's no stretch to them, of course. So when I tried to get them on, it just wasn't working out. So these are jeans that I could not zip. Like, it was a mess, girl. It was a mess. So we won't be doing this. Um, and I'm really debating on if I want to just exchange them for the right size because I feel like I would want to go up two sizes just to be safe because of the way that I am wanting to wear this. So with the top, if the size four is that tight, I would want to go up to an eight at least in order to be able to wear something underneath it. And then with the jeans, I want to be able to go up to an eight as well so that my butt can fit. But then I would need to potentially go and have the waist taken in. So I'm like, mm, is it worth the effort? I really have to sleep on it and figure out if it's worth the effort. But the look that I had in mind, like this denim two piece with a white button down shirt underneath kind of open and then the gold boots, like that would have been fire. So. Let me sleep on it, let me think about what I wanna do, but this definitely got to go back. It has to go back. This is not gonna work. So the next item that we have is this kind of geo print blazer. This blazer is gorgeous. When I tell you this blazer, blazer is gorgeous, from the quality, the lining, everything, the color, the the pattern like i am in love with this blazer it's a little bit outside of my norm but i definitely would wear this with just like a monochromatic look underneath like there's so many ways that this could be styled and really really work i love the way that this blazer looks like it can be draped over the shoulders it can be worn fully buttoned like i really feel like there's so much versatility that i could use with this blazer this blazer also came with a matching pair of pants but because of the pattern and me not being as comfortable with the pattern i probably would not wear the full suit together i feel like that would be a little bit much for me but i love the way this looks like even if you wore like this kind of blue like a matching kind of blue underneath it or go just completely bold and different colors like i feel like there's so many ways that this can be styled so i really am excited to play around with this blazer figure out exactly how i want to wear it but this is definitely something that i'm excited to style um let me know how you would style this in the comments below like would you go monochromatic underneath it or are you the type to kind of play up some different colors and really make it you know 
pop. So I'm curious to hear what you guys would do, what approach you would take to styling this blazer, but this is one that will definitely stay in my closet and I can't wait to style it. Last but most definitely, most definitely not least, we have this uh, tiger print coat, girl. This coat is gorgeous. This is ASOS design. Um, it's a size four. You'll see it on me in the cutaway. It's an oversized coat. I love this pattern. Again, I would wear this with a monochromatic look underneath, so all black underneath with the Kirk Geiger boots. Yes, but you don't hear me like, this is a look absolutely stunning. The quality of this coat, the lining of this coat, absolutely gorgeous. Definitely very, very warm. It's very, very heavy. Um, it just has a single button on this coat. So just one single snap, one single button, but oh my gosh, I love it. And I don't know what got into me because normally I am not like a animal print type of girl, but we have two items in this haul that are kind of animal print, animal pattern, and I'm in love with them. I literally am in love with them. Like I said, I would wear this with something all black, just very sleek underneath, and let the coat just do the talking. I feel like for so long I was uninspired by fashion. I think I was just kind of like in wedding planning mode, just really thinking about fashion from the perspective of being a bride and kind of out of my usual swing when it came to like my personal fashion and the way that I like to play around with colors and patterns and all those kinds of things. So I felt this was the first time in a long time that I really have felt like fashion has excited me in the way that it has. So you guys will probably notice that in this video I am so excited and just very much in my element again when it comes to fashion. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to leave all the sizes on the screen, but if you guys do have any other questions for me um, about the way things fit, about, about the material, about any of those kinds of things, please leave them in the comments below and definitely let me know what your favorite piece was and how would you style it. So thank you all for watching this video. If you stuck with me this long, girl, go ahead and subscribe. We are having we're gonna have some fun, okay? We're gonna have some fun on this channel and I cannot wait to chat with you guys in the comment section. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.